It is winter in Germany, and the sun rises late. Men and women are already at work. But in these buildings, set aside from the Volkswagen factory, they do not build the cars that are sold today, or this year, or perhaps ever. The days of their calendar are the tomorrows. Their task is to find out how to do better. Theirs is the factory of the future. successful only if the people that make it continue to check to make sure their standards are being maintained or improved in the thousands or even the 15 million unit manufacturer. Research is an endless cycle and it often begins by doing better what you are already doing, making it stronger and safer. No brake will ever get this hot in a car, but we need to know how it will act and what will happen just the same. If there should be an accident, we will want to know that the roof will not cave in. Once you leave the superhighways, there are roads like this in many places in the world, but not quite as rough or quite as long as these. And even the superhighways do get wet and covered with snow and ice and slush. On a test pad, this may look like a lot of fun, but it tells us how we can build a car to negotiate in any kind of weather. And that's very important when you need to do it in traffic. windshield with ice, affects engine and brake performance, and puts strain on the heater and defroster to keep the glass clear and the passengers comfortable. And there can be too much of a good thing. Heat has its drawbacks. Metal cloth suits with a high volume supply of cool, fresh air make it possible to test cars at temperatures close to boiling water. We can simulate the forces at work when a car climbs a mountain on a steep turning road at any altitude. We can duplicate the climb up Pike's Peak with the engine in the exact position and attitude at each step of the way in an altitude chamber. A poly indicator allows 12 simultaneous readings, among them temperature, pressure, humidity, and attitude of the engine. For any vehicle, the real test is still the way it drives out there in the world of roads and no roads, highways, snow and rain, or fair weather, at all times of the year, and in all the places where cars will have to run. No test chamber can offer the total random variety of nature herself. is making automobiles for people all over the world, you are forever trying, developing new concepts.
vehicles that run here today, up and down hills and on long stretches of multi-lane highways, there may be some that will never come to the marketplace, but all the experience that we gain by building them and running them will influence our products, perhaps already next year. Not in looks necessarily, but in performance and in the number of extra miles they will safely run for their owners without seeing the inside of a repair shop. Even the hills on this proving ground had to be put into this landscape to duplicate every kind of grade and road profile a car might meet in the outside world. materials as much as of design and workmanship. Here the stress placed on a section of drive shaft is made visible by a polarization process. A mass spectrometer helps discover the inherent qualities of a metal by heating tiny amounts of it to its gaseous state, allowing the spectrum of colors to be analyzed for content. thing to come by is a good copy of man himself. These dummies are as near as man has been able to approach a mechanical recreation of himself. They're made in America and some cost more than raising a child to grown man including college education. But they can do a job that no living man or woman could or would do. Experiments and actual experience have made it increasingly clear that in an accident the occupants must be held in place inside the car allowing the vehicle and not its occupants to absorb the energy. Belts that on impact instantly put themselves around the passenger to keep him inside the protected cabin. Airbags in a variety of design and application. sorts of restraints are tested, many of which will be discarded in the learning process. Of all the cars we build here, these in a very real way are the most important to those all over the world who buy them, and some aren't even ours. When a new concept, or even just a new model of an automobile is considered for production, it means a great investment. Design and material studies are made and eventually a vehicle frame is constructed in steel. It must be stable enough to protect the passenger inside in a variety of catastrophic circumstances. To make detailed observations, cameras will be used capable of taking more than a thousand pictures a second. Man's mechanical copies of himself take part as well with sensors attached to make measurements. instruments which measure them with great accuracy will give us a complete record. One way to minimize collision force is to build bumpers that will absorb some of it and at slow speed even eliminate damage to the vehicle altogether. Hydraulic bumpers show promise on this count. you have to see how it behaves when it is tortured beyond anything any driver anywhere will ever ask of it. This device has recorded on magnetic tape the profile of this real road, as bumpy and rough as cobblestones come. Before a new design is approved, the axle swings as long as the tape plays. 
Transmissions are complex machines, and their shapes and characteristics vary depending on the type and position of the car's engine. The heart of an automobile is its engine. Present-day engines are being improved constantly to run smoother, more quietly, to use less gas while giving more power, and especially to reduce waste emission. On demand by the test engineer's teletypewriter, the performance pattern of this engine is graphically plotted instantly. One result of this research is a catalytic exhaust system which reduces waste emission from present day engines. Stratified charge engines represent a different design approach to the same basic problem. do rotary piston engines. of any engine comes when it is moving a real car. These cars all look like the regular production models that are now on the road everywhere. But that red bus, like today's jet planes, is powered by a special turbine, a promise of things to come. The pickup truck has an electric engine and runs on a revolutionary quick-change battery system. Instead of driving in for a fill it up please, it will now be charge it please. The batteries are exchanged much like injector razor blades leaving the empties for recharging. The things we learn by testing and by experience find their way into the product in a continuous process of modification. Sometimes even the shape of things changes a little or a lot. Skilled metalsmiths, die makers, and auto body builders bring the changes of development.